Hi and welcome to Ritual Surround Creativity. Hello, I hope you're well. Today's video is a short little video. Um, I'm making a video about a course I did online recently and I think it's something that would um, benefit most people or people, some people who watch this channel. It is a course by an artist called Cara, Caro Alvaro. And now I'm not very good at pronouncing um, names in um, other languages so apologies for that but I will leave a link below and you can read about it or follow up on it there and I just wanted to say a few words about it because I found it really good and I found it really helped me a long way to um, get in some creative practices and rituals um, as part of my art practice now um, some of these practices that she would have used in her course are ones that I would do already or ones that I'm familiar with but what, what it allowed me to do is to make a part of my routine and to fold them in in a, a more in-depth way into my creative practice. For me I always found it difficult even for someone who already uses um, things like yoga and meditation and considering how my spaces and all these different elements in my art practice but sometimes it's really good to have the extra help of someone putting together a system or a, a way of putting it together and um, that's what what I liked about it it was that the little that online course provided a really nice kind of way of having a systematic way of introducing rituals and being more considered about your environment, about you, how you practice your art, about your inspiration, you know, all the different things and allowing, allowing nature to kind of have, have that kind of pivotal place in my art practice which it would have already it's just that this allowed me to kind of really in, intertwine it into my practice in a more deeper way and um, that's why I am sharing about this course because it's not something I would have done before is to go online and talk about somebody an art course I, I very rarely do them to be honest but this one I had to do because I really love her art channel and her her artwork is really incredible and beautiful and so thoughtful and considered that I thought I would share the video to kind of um, inspire other people to kind of take on their practice and take on more rituals in their art practice. Anyway I'm going to leave you with some clips and some samples of my work I did throughout and like I said I really would encourage you it's very it's actually really reasonable actually and that was one of the reasons as well I was inspired to do it because it, I really felt like it was good value for money and it was very fair and like she had in lots of experts loads of like like yoga teachers kundalini and reiki, reiki teachers all kinds of different kind of experts in a field and that could contribute to our art practice and that would that's it i'm going to leave you with some clips um enjoy the clips and um that's all i am i hope uh, i've given you some inspiration for today i know i've been really inspired during the course i finished it up really quickly um i was literally doing two or three of the lessons every day because i was enjoying it so much but I will leave you some clips. That's all for now. Bye bye. Bye. Enjoy the clips. Hi and welcome to Rituals Around Creativity. My name is Caro Arevalo. I'm a visual artist from Peru based in Brooklyn. I've been here for the past seven years and these seven years have been the time where I've been able to dive deep into my inner world. I've been able to tap deep into my roots, into my own healing process, into my wounds, 
and reconnect with my child within, reconnect with my inner child, reconnect with the fact that I'm a creator and with the fact that we all are creators. And on this course, I've designed uh, several courses for you to tap in into these aspects of yourself as well. I've chosen the daily practices that have really helped me step back into this space that is my truest self and my inner child and my loving awareness space. And I really want to thank you for trusting me, for trusting So I just say all of that because you might find that each medium asks something specific out of you. Maybe when you work in watercolors, you love working with dark backgrounds or with big paper or with, I don't know, just some specific thing that you love about that medium. And that's how words work for me usually. I'm either journaling on my small sketchbooks and doing artwork around it, which is tiny, or working on small pieces, just like the one you see right here. Remember, this is the tool that we can always come back with when we need a new way in order to spark our creativity. So, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you.